And tonight on Vintage and Breaks West, we'll be ranking this 1982 Tops Baseball Wax Pack number 86. Let's see what we can get from here. I think we can get the Ripken. I think we can get a Lee Smith. Well, let's find out. We've got a four on the dice roll. We'll randomize our names. One, two, three, and four. Joe Adam Chat gets the first one, and Mr. Paul will get the last one in the order. Do the last bit of my paperwork on the back end here. Get that off to Miss M80. Right. And we're gonna hit the button. We're get we're getting better at hitting the button. I think. I say that. We'll see what happens. Alright, good luck to, to Joseph Abincheck, Matthew Jordan, Paul, and I think that's everybody there. First cards underneath the gum here on top. See what we get. Yes, let's go Mr. Ripken or Mr. Lee Smith. I'd be okay with the Lee Smith. That's just me. A little bit of preference. Cubby fan here through and through. Let's see if we can get this gum off here. Oh yeah, that came off real nice. Okay. Here we go. Spot number one to Joe. Chris Chamblis. Spot number one. Spot number two. Going out to Matthew Jordan. Is that Michael Jordan, Air Canada? Or is that someone else? Jerry White for the Expos. Pretty nice centering. What could have been worse, Cody? Spot three out to Mr. Paul. Thank you again for closing out these packs for us. Freddie Martinez. Which I put the sticker on the wrong side. You know, Bradley, there hasn't been, but maybe my next question will be a 90s movie trivia. Movies tri <laughs> ah, trivia question. Uh, Fred Martinez is spot three. Don't ask me to chew gum and talk and walk and everything else at the same time. It may result uh, poorly. But that's a good idea, Bradley. My next question will be a 90s question, and I'll do that after this pack. We might even announce another little gaggle. Mr. Mark Little, spot four. Spot five to Paul as well. We've got Denny Martinez. Spot number six. Not too bad for Dom Mancini. I didn't see Dom sneaking here. One spot wonder. Rich Gossage. Not too shabby. The Goose. Spot seven to Paul. Mike Ive. Got ourselves an 
two. Yeah, we got two inserts, so we'll get one for spot one and spot two. Spot eight to David Robert Ramos. Corey Mateo. I do not personally have an opinion, but I'm pretty sure somebody in the VB crew will have an opinion on that. Robert Ramos for a David. Nine. For Mr. Adam Chick. Got a Stan Banson. I'm starting to feel a little negative about Mr. Horner. He uh, continues to not perform as well as he did right out of the gate. I also think it's hard for these guys to play in empty stadiums. They're just not used to it. Rudy Scott. It's definitely got to be a different experience for these guys. Oh, here we go. Spot 11, Mr. Mike Schmidt. Definitely a later year card, but still a nice card. A little off center, top, bottom, left, right, but still a nice pack of fresh Mr. Schmidt card for Mr. Paul. Oh, Jeff, you did get a hit today? You know, I, I, I wasn't able to watch the game. I was in a meeting most this afternoon, so. Well, that's good he got a hit. Mike Hargrove for Paul. Tony Armas. I do know the Cubbies won today, so that's nice. Yeah, that that card series was kind of a not a good good series for the Cubbies. They, I, I'm surprised they were able to come out on top. Honestly, they were not playing their best. Joe Morgan. Another guy that played baseball for about a million years. Definitely a late year card, but definitely a nice little Joe Morgan. And our last card, Billy Randolph. Bill, Lily Randolph. Unfortunately, we didn't get our Smith or a Ripken out of this pack. But we did get some pretty nice looking cards. And that concludes our 1982 Topps Baseball Wax Pack at number 86.